think it's crazy how we were talking about how academics should stop reporting on Drake because it looks like from the outside looking in, it looks like it's almost Drake is sending him on a mission to say stuff for him to be the mouthpiece for him. And it's funny, we had that conversation a couple of days ago, and then Joe Button said the same exact thing that we Man. were saying that he probably should chill on that. Yeah, he should probably chill on that. He looked like a beat reporter. <laughs> yeah, like I'm in the streets, the hottest information I can grab or, yeah. or com- compose from Drake. Yeah. I'm going to just put something together for you and I'm going to give it to you. And yeah. that, it sounds crazy because he ends up retracting statements, going back on what he was saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I even seen uh, when he was reporting on the Kendrick Lamar joint, yeah. he looked like it, it was so awkward for him not to bob his head, but he yeah. couldn't even fight it. Yeah, he couldn't fight it. Couldn't fight it. He couldn't fight it at all. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. I'm going to respond to something too because I've I seen it. <laughs> I seen it a few places. Okay. I seen Double XL post it, and it's actually a video of my man Joe Button. Button. And Joe Button had a message, and let's see if we can message. hear what he <laughs> right. says. Let's let's actually play it. We'll react. Never to it. Okay, lean back and chill with his foot up. He about to snap. Uh, the headline says Joe thinks academics should stop reporting news on Drake because it comes off as a mission sent from Drizzy. Also, Ak, Ak, you got to know that any Drake news coming from you looks away now. Yeah, it looks us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ak is the one on stream during the NBA finals with the hacker dude on the thing, explaining to him, showing him the invoice. He's dropping names. Like, good journalistic shit you was doing, Ak, but you got to know that any Drake news coming from you. Oh, that was horrible journalistics yeah we're just gonna call it what it was it was horrible yeah. it was unbelievable it sounded like the guy should have been vetted it seemed like from where i was sitting at watching the video it looked like how did he make it to your platform when when i listened to joe speak it almost sounded like he was speaking with such sarcasm <laughs> such sarcasm because okay. when he said when he said he decided to listen to this during the nba finals yeah. it's only like the one of the biggest things going on yeah and at this time yeah you decide i'm just gonna go drake heavy yeah like i know it was in a mix of everything but timing is everything time is always everything journalistic shit you was doing act but you gotta know that any drake news coming from you is viewed through a different type of eye even if you just working off your own speculation even if drake didn't tell you shit <laughs> it comes off as a mission sent from drake and that could come off like somebody somewhere is trying to get ahead of the not like us video and concert mm-hmm. it's back to my earlier point about letting people have their moments just get we said the same thing. I said, why would you drop this the day before that interview with the the, the mm-hmm. journalist, uh, the fake scammer? Yeah. Why would you do that the day before um, Juneteenth? Um, even the time of it seemed weird. Yeah. It was just anything. And it was on Kendrick's birthday. Yeah. It was like a smear campaign. Yeah. On Kendrick's birthday. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's back to my earlier point about letting people have their moments. Just get out of the way of that moment. Even if you feel like you didn't lose the buys, this nigga, fuck this nigga, he's weak, I could get him again, I'm coming back with a track. Yeah. Let the moment of the forum and the video pass. It's too much to fight. You're yeah. going to look away. Yeah. That's all I have to say on the matter. I don't care about the bot situation. Do you, do you think Drake does anything um, during this? Well, then Ak is saying new Drake music coming soon. Yeah, Drake put the post up about... Shout out to everybody that came out to film the video. And I don't, I don't even see. And it'd be like stuff like that when DJ Academics be saying new Drake um, music coming out and nobody else got this information. So you're getting yeah. close from somebody in Drake camp or even could be Drake himself. So when we hear the news that you're reporting, it just seemed like everything's coming it's, from Drake. Yeah, the eyeball's going to come right to you yeah. because nobody's hearing anything from anywhere else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like you got to. Reliable source. A reliable source. <laughs> packs. The post up about shout out to everybody that came out to film the video and I don't I don't even see nothing that Drake posts no more. It's like Ack is the mouthpiece <laughs> for certain things. <laughs> yeah. Was that and what? even if I'm a Drake fan, as a Drake fan, I want Ack to stop announcing things about Drake. The Ack announcements come with a certain level of expectation. So you either meet it or don't, and then the harsh criticism coming and you're not built for that. Like, the Drake releases are much better as a surprise. Nobody knows I'm him. Here's a jam to vibe. He's saying, like, I get what uh, Joe's saying. He's saying, like, when academics um, speaks about it, it's like he's making a release. Like, not yeah, a, a rollout. rollout. 
You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with rollouts become expectation, um, just if you just release it and just let it do what it do naturally and was no rollout, then people look at it differently. Then it's, oh, this big... Now it must be coming. a crazy... And, and then you hear the song and it's like... Mm. It's like, meh. Yeah. Yeah. Are much better as a surprise. Nobody knows. I'm him. Here's a jam to vibe to real quick. Agreed. Anything with act reporting it, it just looks away. Yeah. And that's my man. I hope he knows that. But he wouldn't care because it's a brand builder for him. For sure. Of course. No, it's it's good business for him. Yeah, it's it's great great business. Great business. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll respond to this real quick. And Joe is my man. I completely understand what you're saying. Uh, Let me be abundantly clear and very straight with what I'm saying. And I understand everything is happening, but I also know how I play a part in this whole rap ecosphere. And I've never apologized for any allegiance I've had, any friendships or any (laughs) perceived biases based on maybe my own personal music taste. Mm -hmm. Let's lay a few things down. Um, Academics has always reported about the biggest artists in the world. Of course, Ever since we went through that 2017 wave where the mumble rappers that everybody used to think were underground became mainstream. I've always reported about mainstream artists. I've always reported about that. So if you think I'm going to stop reporting about the biggest artists in the world, you're wrong. Okay? You're wrong. (laughs) Secondly, I will say this. And this is to like everybody in hip hop media. And I don't know if there's like a consortium. And I don't know if there is some type of conspiracy. And I don't know if maybe I'm left out the group chat that everybody seems to be on code with. Um, Me, myself, personally, Hmm. I have zero problem with Rolling Stone, Elliot Wilson, Joe Budden, any other person. I don't care who, even fans. And I think as time goes on, I don't care if... Y'all say Drake lost. It's fine. That's not the thing. What I've realized is that this ain't even about the battle now. When I hear this from Joe, he's echoing what I hear a lot of people are saying to me. But they're not saying stop reporting about. They want me to stop saying anything positive about Drake. (laughs) I understand there is an entire now ecostructure of people saying let's now push the narrative that this guy who, let's say he lost a rap battle, but he's done. He's done. He's a culture vulture. He's washed up. We have a new king. He's going to be the best ever. Drake is going to go away. I understand that's a thing that a lot of people... But the whole point in that mm-hmm. is if you're reporting things, mm-hmm. you're reporting them as happened, as right. occurred. Right. Not how you want it to occur. Right. Not based off of your... the. Anything right. else that happened previous or your beliefs. Yeah. It's like what's happening in the time. If we went 20 years forward and came back to this time, it should be this battle was huge. It was going on, but Kendrick mm-hmm. got the upper hand. Not, yeah. well, I felt like Drake because we, we thought at this time he was doing this. And what happened in that moment? Yeah. What happened in that moment? It was that's, all... right. that's why you got to keep things clear. Yeah, and it was almost like um, just a couple of days ago, he was trying to push a narrative. The only reason Kendrick won is because he put bots um, on the song mm-hmm. 48 hours after the song was released. So it's like... And everywhere. So it's like, it's not like people don't want you to report on the situation. We want you to report on the situation. We make content out of you reporting on the situation, but it's how you report it. And you're right. trying to report, you're trying to report it... Um, with uh with a story with a spin on it you feel what i'm yeah. saying you're not reporting it accurately and when other journalists uh, journalists look at you like we do it doesn't make sense what you're saying because we're in the same field with you and we know what you're trying to do so we're looking at yeah. it completely different than someone in the public different. would and we know exactly what we're looking at and we know exactly why you're saying what you're saying in the moment exactly people want me to echo i'm sorry I just, I just listen to Kendrick Lamar like once a month. I listen to Drake every day. I'm sorry. I just can't repeat what y'all be saying. So when it's not about when I'm not personally getting back on here trying to have or rehash conversations of the battle. By the way, the whole thing with the with the uh, person who was um, y- y- y'all want to know the truth? I won't call the name. I I'll, I'll tell you the truth though. The dude who came on to expose Kendrick. 
had nothing to do with Drake. That person got referred to me by people who worked with Kendrick. 100% fact, hand like. That sounds stupid as hell. <laughs> right. People that work for Kendrick is going to send you a guy that's saying that he put bots on Kendrick Lamar and not like us song. That makes zero sense. But that's what I was just saying a couple of sentences earlier. Like, the way you're reporting it to anybody that's a journalist, anybody got half a brain. Half a brain not going to believe none of this. It doesn't make sense. It's not that we want you to stop reporting on Drake when you report. Just, just some clarity. Make, just make it make sense. Make it make sense. Drake. 100% fact. Hand, like, I don't swear to nothing, but trust me. The, those people who put me on with that guy, I, I I talked to all parties. They said, please don't mention our name because we do good business with Kendrick. We don't want no problems. I said, I will make sure. I said, that guy won't say y'all name and I won't say y'all name. They work with Kendrick. They don't work with, with Drake. And another thing that didn't make sense was when the guy first got on DJ Academics on um, platform, he was saying, don't expose me. But he said two things that stuck out to me. First thing he said is that a lot of people know my voice. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. you're coming on a big platform. We're insane. A lot of people know your voice. So that means you're already, people are going to know who you are just off your voice. And you said a lot of people um, know you just in general. So it's like, how do you not want people uh, to know who you is in one sentence? And then in the next sentence say, just off my voice, a lot of people know who I am. Yeah, they, they could have used the voiceover or <laughs> any type of AI voice, anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you just talking freely, like it makes zero sense. None of this. At all. all. You got to make them dots line up. The dots got to connect. The breadcrumbs got to lead me somewhere. These breadcrumbs lead you absolutely nowhere. nowhere i feel stupider listening to it yeah than before i even listen to it feels like my brain cells are melting <laughs> and i won't say y'all name they work with kendrick they don't work with with drake now i get it some people might be believe that's that, that that's a play that drake put in place or i'm doing that for drake i'm sorry <laughs> to keep it real that timing probably didn't behoove drake or whatever his whatever shit got going on because people are gonna think it's from him but I'm sorry, if anybody wants to come, hey, let me let me just send this little smoke signal to everybody. If you want to come expose the game in terms of people rigging their streams, rigging their concert tickets, rigging anything, you could do that anytime on my stream. I'm at this point the person who I like to knock the lid off of anything. So if you got some real, and by the way, the guy who came on, I had people vet him. People who are in the same business as him. Keep in mind, who did I tell you put me with the guy? Anyway, so beyond that. It's like the more and more he talks, the more and more I feel like he's just going to quicksand. Yeah, you're he's just, sinking. You're just sinking as you talk. And this is why Joe Button is saying, just stop. Just stop talking. Talking. Because yeah. you in this moment might think that you're making sense. You're discrediting yourself. But you're not making any sense. No sense. At all. You're totally discrediting yourself because where people are like, oh, I, I'll listen to this source because he's giving me valuable information. Yeah. They're like, this sounds like bullshit. Yeah. Kenny Lamar sent some people to say he put bots on his own videos. <laughs> it's like crazy. At all. <laughs> here's, my, here's my thing. I'm not trying to rehash this battle between Kendrick and Drake. Everybody's going to think what they want to think. You don't even hear me over here running to say, yo, Drake won. I think abundantly, and most people have said that Drake has lost his battle. Okay. Cool. I'll accept public opinion. It's fine. Here's where now I look at it and shit don't look right. Mm -hmm. Because it's not that they're just saying Drake lost a rap battle. Now feels like the time that every media nigga that Drake done fucked over, Drake that done talk shit to, Drake done diss publicly, Drake skipped out on an interview, they're trying to purport the narrative that Drake is in a very fucked up place where like his career is done. And I'm like, okay, congrats to Kendrick. I like the song. Keep shooting the music video. Pop out was dope. But Drake's still a guy. What's the problem? I can't, I, I can't do that. Or I got so that means that based off of his theory... Mm -hmm. Apparently, Drake has took a, a, a number two on every media source <laughs> possible. Mm -hmm. He's like, because everybody who he's ever done, done wrong is saying, Kendrick won. So it must be everybody. Yeah, I get what you're saying. That it must be uh, everybody. Because um, 
it must be from the narrative um, yeah. that he's trying to paint, but I think it's just crazy. And like basically what I was saying yesterday was like with this whole thing, there's two different perceptions. It's their internet perception, it's their perception what's going on um to reality. Like people saying Drake lost, Drake is getting into all these different cars, <laughs> he's in all the clubs, right. he's walking into a mansion, he's like, How did I lose? I'm still doing good and we seen well, I seen his last concert. It was a sold out concert. Yeah. Um so Drake stands is still supporting uh Drake fans in reality. Reality, but on the internet, it looks like people are not dealing with him the same way he was. But at all his shows, he still uh, sell him out. And at his last show, he actually performed not like us in front of his crowd. Well, it's like we're not saying Drake lost in life. Yeah, no, <laughs> that is not the statement. <laughs> yeah, it's just in this interaction yeah. between one MC to a next. Yeah, he didn't win this one. Yeah, and it just is that. Yeah, facts. Video pop out was dope. But Drake's still a guy. What's the problem? I can't. I, I can't do that. Or I gotta say, I guarantee if I got on here, which this is what they want, which I, I just don't know why people need me to say, "Yo, Drake' career is done." <laughs> I don't think his career is done. I think even if it's going to be accepted in the history of the lexicon of time that Drake has lost this battle and he did lose, which Push I said he lost the battle versus Pusha T, yeah. I still don't think that does anything to the guy. What I've seen, and this is my personal belief, honestly, I believe that we're in a time right now that's desperate for a regime change. Mm. And I understand it. I understand it. I'll give you a quick story. When me and when me and 6 ix 9 were one and two, I'm the media guy, 6 ix 9 most vile person every day. There were so many people that was just waiting for that era to be over. Like, just, hey, yo, these mm-hmm. things get all the attention. They're getting all the clicks. They're getting all the promo. Yeah. Really, m- more with 6 9 because they don't care about media like that. Yeah. And I remember seeing that. Like, I remember other artists' approach. I remember that. What I believe is happening right now with Drake is people want the regime change. Mm. And I'm going to even, if Drake ever hears this, I'll give him some harsh realities too. Drake, a half of these niggas feel like you've used them, you've lied to them, (laughs) you're a fuck nigga, you, like, they're ready to get you out. This is the dethroning. (laughs) And here's the thing, Kendrick is the most successful person at at handing you a hip-hop L, not a gossip L, a hip-hop L. <laughs> not a gossip mm-hmm. L. That now, Surgical with that. the mm-hmm. narrative has to be that you are no longer the guy. Mm. You have been dethroned and you're out of here. It's a regime change. Mm. Damn. That's what I keep hearing. <laughs> regime change. <laughs> That's what now, I keep hearing. Now, me personally, I always tell y'all, I operate, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Drake. Music, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm cool with him. Who's fan of his music? I don't think that yeah. right. he's yeah. dethroned musically, and I don't think that we're having a regime change. Mm. Why don't I think that? I don't think beyond. I don't think in six months Kendrick will be doing a goddamn thing. That nigga will be somewhere on the on the Himalayan mountains, just like chilling, like doing some type of hike. I, I just don't think he's present enough. I just don't think he has what it takes to continually run hip hop as how someone like Drake did. He's an amazing artist. Clear. I think at this point, it's impossible to dethrone Drake. And the reason I say that is because he has UMG behind him. UMG got most of these artists under their label. So all UMG got to do is not put out the rest of the artists <laughs> that's yeah, on yeah. their label and only give you Drake, Drake, and more Drake and just force feed that down your yeah, throat. Who you want to feature with, Drake? <laughs> yeah. They yeah. have that type of power. Um, So that's why it's going to be dang near hard, especially at this time when they just gave them $400 million. They're trying to see their money back. They're not going to let that money slide down. Mm-hmm. So what they're going to do is give you, if you want to feature, I mean, if you want a song, Drake got to be on it. They're going to force feed them down your throat and down the algorithm. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. But but again, I, I say this because not enough people say this. Mm. When it comes to Kendrick and dropping, mm. he, he drops when it's the need to drop. Yeah. He's been very consistent with that. Yeah. As long as his albums is running, yeah. billboard numbers, yeah. he says out the way. Yeah. But when he comes back, 
<laughs> he's right back where he was. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's it's. I don't think with him it's a matter of force feeding yeah. content. There. Yeah. That's not that's not who yeah. he seems to be. Yeah, he says it's quality content. He's the only one person care about being famous, and he's obviously not talking about himself. Right. Clearly, we've just seen with the battle, he could go toe to toe, band for band, <laughs> bars for bars with anybody in the world. One of he's a fucking genius. Yeah. But I think people in hip hop, and I watch them. I feel like they're they're trying to push like this like narrative, and they want everybody to echo it. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm just sorry to say. Hmm. Here's the thing: I've always announced if I've gotten an inkling. I've always announced, oh, Drake might do this. Drake might do that. I'm just not going to stop now. I'm just not going to stop now. I'm like, it, it, like again, if I knew anything, I've always said it. I've been saying new Cardi on the way for the last year. Why? <laughs> yo, he'll tell me, like, yo, act, I'm about to drop before this. Okay, cool. All right, man, I'm going to put that out. Mm -hmm. I talk to his labels. labels I say, yo, y'all got to give me a day. Y'all got to give me a day. His fans is on my ass. They'll they be like, yo, is the album coming before then. I tweet that out. Now... Now what I'm realizing is that the hip hop, the rest of the hip hop media, I don't know what Drake did to y'all, <laughs> but I've had a good time. And by the way, I don't have no problem with Kendrick. You know why? This, this is another thing when it comes to media. Yeah. Don't y'all realize that I already won? Mm -hmm. Both of these niggas mentioned me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> the point is this. I'm not, listen, I'm only, I'm making a good prediction on my behalf. And my, and my prediction is that Kendrick is having a phenomenal moment. He's going to dominate right now. I just don't think Drake's career is done. So when people say I should either stop talking positively about Drake, I should stop making an announcement about Drake, I should... No. He said no. <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> the hell? Uh, yo. <laughs> I personally face. think and this is my reverse, my reverse analysis <laughs> is that the majority of the media that is purporting, it, it's nothing wrong with saying Kendrick is the king and Kendrick is God. It's not wrong. Who cares? Like, yo, he's having this moment. Right. It's another thing where it's like, yo, if a nigga ain't saying that Drake is done, <laughs> oh, that nigga look like he biased. <laughs> Drake ain't done. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> I think those people have had personal issues with Drake. And this is one of the reasons I'm glad I never met the nigga. Because there's nothing. Named, shit, I, I've cussed him out. He cussed me out. Well, I've told you the ups and downs I have with a nigga. I don't know <laughs> the nigga. Right. The I've nigga. told y'all I like Drake the musician. I don't know Drake the man. Right. I don't take it that personal. Right. I love his music. But I don't take it that personal. So whatever he got with y'all that y'all are now pushing forth y'all um, um, agendas through whatever y'all want to say. It, uh, I just don't feel the same, and I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm also not a nigga who does the yo this artist and and, and actually let me bring that up. I guess this is what I want to say because I, I seen another Straight artist say TV. that. No, I see twenty one. I think it's interesting because as time progresses and moves forward. Mm -hmm. It just looks like everything we were saying and everything we've been saying mm -hmm. about act looking compromised yeah. is starting to like run around a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think Joe just hit the nail on the head. Yeah. You gotta lay back a little bit. Yeah. Cause everybody just looking at it as this. Yeah. Even if that's not what it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's the perception, and yeah. perception is reality. Yeah. To most, you know. But I just think it's uh, interesting to see uh, the perspectives and even the way he explained it. He's just like, you know, I'm invested in this, yeah. but it has nothing to do with my personal opinion. Yeah. It it's almost seems like he's saying I sit on a t uh, the, the apex of hierarchy. Like, yeah. I'm here. They both mention me, yeah. so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not so personally invested. Like, I love this guy. Yeah. I just appreciate his music. I yeah. thought that was an interesting take. What you think? Yeah, uh, I like the fact that you um, brought up the fact that he mentioned that both Kendrick and Drake mentioned him. Um, but the difference is 
Kendrick mentioned him in a bad light. Drake mm-hmm. mentioned him I'm in a good light. And it's a Absolutely. completely different um, lights. And I can understand uh, both perspectives. I can understand the Joe Button's perspective. I can also understand the academic's perspective. Because mm-hmm. we was talking about it the same way. And I was saying some of the stuff that DJ Academics was saying. If you just look at this situation, Drake fans are still Drake fans. He didn't yeah. lose his um, fan base. He lost uh, public opinion and a lot of stuff. But people that was always Drake fans, uh, for so the, the most core, part, yeah. they are more. They are still Drake fans. Where Hurt Drake is getting uh, what we talking about earlier. New Drake fans, yeah, is yeah, where the ones who appreciate the listening but weren't certified fans, yeah, yeah. and they're easier to float over to yeah. public opinion. And I don't think um, he's done like academics. Don't think he's done because UMG is not going to let him be done. They just gave that man four hundred dollars. They want to see a return on their money. Million. I mean, for your four hundred yeah, yeah, million dollars, yeah. uh, they want to see a return on that money. Um, so they're not gonna let him disappear. They're not gonna let him um, be dethroned. They got a lot of money to paint a lot of pictures. Any way they want to, and I'm pretty sure they got their brushes out right now. And, doing and some truth pain. be told, and and just I'm a Kendrick fan, but yeah. truth be told, Drake is definitely a great. Uh, if, if you look at the whole picture, he's a great space filler. Yeah, like you know, because there's dead spots in music yeah. where there's just nothing, nothing coming dead. out, yeah. <laughs> and Drake definitely fills those voids. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I uh, can't wait to see where else coming from the situation. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV, and I'm out.